So, I've shown this cool trick in the past on my Discord server and Twitter, but I realized it would be so much useful if I will cover it in a YouTube video as well. With Magic of Voxel, you can turn any OBJ model, by dragging an OBJ file from Windows Explorer into Magic of Voxel, into a Voxel model. That's insane, right? Here, I have two models to showcase this awesome trick, an OBJ model of a top hat, and a moustache. I can turn both of them into voxel models, that is blocky minecraft like models. Just drag and drop an obj file to magicka voxels viewport, and it will create a new object with your voxelized model. The detail of the voxelized model depends on the size of currently selected object. The bigger the object is, the more voxels will be used, and the more accurate the shape will be. You can edit the size of the currently selected object in the top right corner of the viewport. As you can see the first one has less details than the bigger one. Once the models is voxelized, you'll have to paint it yourself because that feature doesn't seem to support texturing as well, but I don't know for sure. When paint job is done, save the model somewhere, don't export it to other formats yo. Once you do a paint job, you can simply import these into Minecraft with Blockbuster mod. Go to models folder of Blockbuster mod, create a new folder, give it some unique name, and save the vox file from magic of voxel there. And here we go, both voxelized models are now available as morphs under Blockbuster models. They might be a bit big, though. It seems like when you drag an OBJ model into Magic of Voxel, it gets voxelized and oriented into wrong direction. To fix the direction, go to Scene Graph, rotate the object by 180 degrees on Z axis, and save it. Then open the Creative Morph menu to reload the model. Now it's oriented correctly. That should be it. Even though it was a short tutorial, I'm most certain it will be very very useful for a lot of people. And it's also very easy to follow tutorial, in my opinion, haha. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and goodbye.